Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a tutorial video on how to generate infinite EU. To do this you will need 26 geothermal generators, an MFSU, lots of glass fibre cable and pneumatic tubes, a filter, an energy condenser, relays, collectors, lava cells, timers and rad alloy wires. Um, this is a lot, this method is a lot safer than nuclear reactors because they can be quite dangerous. So what you first do is do one, two, three, four, five, a five by five square of pneumatic tubes, like so, and then place the geothermal generators on top of them. And the most important thing for this setup is to add one extra, because with a geothermal generator setup like this, you're producing more than 512 EUs per tick. Uh, normally, you'd be producing about I think, well, I think it's 510 or just under 512 EU per tick, so your MFSU will start to drain faster than it can be resupplied. Now you can just connect up glass fibre cables like so. And for th this next step, you'll be using the Red Power 2 filter alongside with a condenser. So for this, put the condenser down, open it up. You have a slot here, this is the target slot. Whatever is put in here is automatically transmuted into whatever you put in the target slot providing they can be transmuted. So for example, philosopher's stone won't work. But if we give ourselves some dark matter, put this in the corner, bam, lots of lots of lava cells. And you see in here they've they've been some of it's been stored in the internal storage. Um, in order to make this truly infinite, we put some relays down like so. And then the collectors around it. And this will constantly provide the condenser with enough EU I'll put too many there. Enough EU to sustain it through producing lava cells. And we'll only, I think we only notice it when this goes down to zero. So, let's get rid of these. Oops. And now we put the filter on the condenser. Try and angle it right so we get it right in the direction that we want it to. That's not it. Okay, now we need a screwdriver. Cool. That's a, a screwdriver is simply iron bar and a stick, so it's pretty easy to get. And then we right click it until the little circle is facing us. That's the output slot. The bigger circle you saw there is the what comes into it, the input slot. And attach this up with pneumatic tubes. And place our timer down. So we have the timer facing um, Actually, we need a few more building blocks. Just uh, get some cobblestone. Yeah, that'll do. Um, place that like so. And have the timer on it. No, wrong way around. Cool. And then the red alloy wire goes like this. And as you can see here, it pulses and drags out... The, oops. Drags out whatever is in the condenser. And the filter is smart enough to not pull out the first item in the stack. So here you can see these are disappearing and being replenished by this. You can what you what we can do now is if you open up the interface, you have the filter interface. And to help with producing in the long term, you want to put a stack in here so that the filter will only drag out a stack at a time as opposed to one or the other. And they, because of the pneumatic tubes, they will bounce around and then stop themselves into wherever they're needed. And sometimes if you just do it one by one and the timer is too slow, then the geothermal generators will, will run out. So it's always best to do a stack at a time. Until you get, until you get all the geothermal generators full with lava cells and then you can turn down the timer. So, as you can see, the um, relays are powering this and it's constantly producing enough EU to be sustained. Uh, don't worry about this going down. Once the geothermal generators are filled with the lava cells, this will quickly build up again and be more than enough replenishment rate. So, now for the final touches. We can put down the MFSU. And see all these light up? They are actively producing EU at the moment. And look at this, just look at this beauty. This will produce more than 512 EU tick now. And actually we can test this. So, right click with this little device, it's called an EU reader. You right click once to start your measurement and you want to leave it as long as possible really to get a good average. Right click again 
Yeah, there we go. 520 euro tick. And I think minus one. Actually, we can check it. Yeah, bye. -bye. Now, let's check it. 25 EU a tick produce. No, I just saw a new one. 25 geothermal generators produce 500 EU a tick, which is 12 lower than this. So if you have, say, a quarry or a mass fab producing um, EU matter or something along those lines. And is that geo. No, generator. Cool. And through the power of NEI, I can spawn myself another geothermal generator. Cool. So now we've tested that, we can, in theory, link this up to anything we like because this will never run out. As this is producing more than this can output, it doesn't matter how many machines you place on this, it will never run out. It will always increase and always be full. Um, if you wanted to make it more challenging, then you could use pneumatic pipes and I will be showing you that in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, I hope this has been instructive and informative and see you in the next tutorial.